Every artist creating music now, and I don't care who you are, into the foreseeable future will want to create some cash flow when they drop their music instantly. But without this cash flow, it's kind of hard to pursue this career and scale it. So in order to scale, we got to put a couple things in place. I know a lot of you all are going to be like, man, I don't, I, really, I don't have time to do all that, man. I, it's already hard enough getting this stuff on Spotify and making it work. The thing is, it's not too much. And since the beginning of time, except for when the industry kind of took a hiatus in 2000 to 2016, music has always been sold for a flat fee up front. Point is, we can make this money from the music if you just put some stuff in place. And I'm going to show you how to do it using even coming up right here on the Music Money Makeover Show. Simply put, this is a sales funnel. So I'm going to walk it down for all of my music creators. What we got to do is we got to start with a location and we got to have two. We need a media outlet and we need a marketplace. The media outlet is Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube or whatever one you choose. The marketplace is gonna be even in this example. You can fill that in with whatever you want. We're using even in this video. So once we have those two places figured out, we wanna kinda get some education on how the marketplace works, how it takes in content, how it pays people out. We wanna educate ourselves on the marketplace. And then on the media outlet, we wanna educate ourselves on how the content is placed into the media outlet. What are the call to actions? What are the, the functions of the outlet? How, it, how does it like to receive the content in terms of the captions and yada, 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 and all this stuff? Because we gotta optimize that if it's gonna work. So now that we have our media outlet and our marketplace, let's dig down deeper into this funnel. Now we need a product. The average purchase from a customer on even is $25. So we'll go with the $25 digital music listening experience. Now I'm only saying listening experience because on even as I feel it should be on other platforms, you're not allowed to actually download the music from there. Maybe you could send people a separate download, separate of the platform, but this kind of keeps piracy down a little bit, just a little bit. I know it's not much, but it keeps people from just downloading our music and leaking it all over the place when we can offer it for a premium price. And for those who are paying the premium price, they really enjoy this stuff and they support us, right? So I love that. And that's what a digital music listening experience is. It's like paying for access into Spotify per artist, per project, per album, per single, whatever. But you get to do it on a platform that's a lot more encompassing of the community of the artist, which is cool. A $25 product is what we need. Let's keep going. Now, the followers we need. We need 100,000 followers across the board for this to work, but preferably on one platform because it's gonna be easier to convert from one platform versus multiple platforms. You get what I'm saying? Let's keep rolling. Now we need the viewership and many platforms will only allow 10% of your viewers to see your content. So let's say 10,000 followers see your content out of the 100,000 that we actually had. And this is the truth. I'm not even fronting. So the only way you change this number is if the content that you create is relevant or it's relevant enough and the frequency is high enough for people to see more of it. But we're going to do like the least amount possible because so many people have trouble posting on social media. So we're going to rock with 10,000, which means we lost 90,000 people due to the um, due to the uh, the the algorithm limiting the amount of people that's seeing your post. All right. Rocking with 10,000. Let's go to the next thing. Now, let's talk about our conversion percentage from that 10,000. We only need 1% of our following and 1% is the instant number. So 3% is the magic number when fans love you. Let me say this. In the past, I've said that 3% is the magic number and it is a magic number. I get it. But the average person or artist is not going to start at a 3% conversion. This is when you learn how to engage with your followers. After you learn how to engage with your followers and you ask them to buy, then you can hit that magic 3% conversion because they believe that they won't be shortchanged on the product that you've been promoting once they see it enough. Now, if you start at the 3% conversion, great. If you start at the 1% conversion, just know that that was just going to be the average anyway. And then from there, you want to build up over time. Check it out. This is what the final outcome will look like. 100,000 engaged followers will equal 10% of the viewers that will pull from it, which is 10,000 times 1% a 1% conversion of the 10,000, which will give us 100 people at a $25 digital music listening experience, which is $2,500. Okay. And again, I'll get into increasing the conversions, but if we increase that conversion, then we can actually get, uh, we can actually get more money or we increase the dollar amount, but that's another story for another day. Well, how do we get them to convert? It's called a CTA, a call to action. We want to tell the viewers what you want them to do. 
And I tell people this time and time and time and time again, you are the Pied Piper, which means you play the flute and the mice follow you. Then you gotta lead them to where you wanna lead them to and they will go. So just tell them what you want them to do and we'll get there. I mean, it's, it's, it's really that simple. You know, it's like me telling you to open up the description of this video and you'll see some free stuff you can get. Like, go grab it, right? It's down there for you, for free. It's the same way, it's a call to action. That's what this was. Well, I need more money than $2,500 and I feel you. Charge more or give more value. Increase your engagement and value in your content to increase the viewership. It is what it is, let's keep rolling. Uh, how do we increase viewership? Quality visual plus quality record equals valuable content equals views. That's that's how we increase the viewership. There, I mean, how do we increase engagement? Make relevant content that suits your authenticity and point of view on life plus respond to comments on your content. Analyze the comments as well. They are the key to relevance. It keeps people at top of mind for you, and that's how you increase the engagement, boost up your relevancy, and other factors that come from that. You can increase your engagement this way, and then now that's gonna increase the conversion number. How do we increase conversions? Well, I kinda just gave the hint to that, but let me give it to you in a formula. Quality visual plus quality record plus valuable product plus a clear call to action equals your conversion. That's simple, okay? How do we get viewers to follow? Give value in the form of your talent and story or journey, plus let your personality shine authentically on a consistent basis. This means you're now entertaining people, which is what you are, an entertainer. I think that a lot of people kind of shy away from being the entertainer that you are, but if you wanna get people to follow you, they gotta have a reason to get on your bandwagon. I'm not just gonna follow you if I don't know where we're going, what we're doing, and what's the point of me spending my time on you because my time is more valuable than money. So be the entertainer that you are. Well, I'm an artist, man. I'm not trying to do all of that. Well, move out of the way because you're taking up space. Either be the entertainer that you are or move. I can't say it enough. And these are the people that take up the space at the bottom, the saturated noise floor of the music industry that you have to break through in order to become the star that you are. So funny thing is, this is part one of, or I might say part 1A of a marketing plan and solution that I've been building behind the scenes. I'm just letting you know that this will be coming to market soon. I don't know in what format, but I did mention this a while ago on No Labels Necessary. How long will, will it take? Um, I don't know, man. I just know that I want it to, I want them to be able to have like a, a full suite of tools to be able to handle the back end of the record labels. But you know, I, I, I mean, the people that have already tried this out on a call with me have loved it. I'm just letting you know that. And if you wanna get more information on how this actually works, then you can always book a call with me down beneath this video. But this video is supported by musicmoneymakeover.com and they wanted me to tell you that if you're an artist, a singer, songwriter, music producer, or a new music exec who wants to get your record label started in 60 days or less, without all the misinformation on the internet, then they got you covered. They built something called the 60 day record label and it's gonna allow you to be able to build a strong company foundation to get the funding that you need, allow you to learn the game via contract so you don't get lost in the sauce and collect your international and domestic record and publishing royalties so you can keep the middleman out of your pocket and increase your cash flow. They designed this to be foolproof so you don't fall and trip through the steps of the course, but if you do trip and fall through the steps of the course, then they have a book a call function that you can book in order to help yourself up and get you to the finish line. But they also told me to tell you this, there is some free stuff beneath this video called 10 Ways to Increase Your Record Label's Profits and a free split sheet does come included with that download. Now, let's talk about your upside. If you get this right, you can scale your operation. Though 1% is the bare minimum, people move to 3% over the course of 90 days as promotions increase and user-generated content takes over. This means more money to fuel the process. Let's talk about the downside. Continuing to focus on streams alone puts you a bit behind the curve, so step out on faith and let's get back to slanging, but digitally, all right? So I, I want you to move your focus a little bit more than 20% over to the uh, direct-to-consumer platforms here because I, I really feel that this will be the future of music. I'm gonna do a, a video later next month that kind of digs a little bit more deeper into how this process will work for music and musicians and artists. So music money makers, if you were trying to figure out a way you can make some mu some money fast from your music, you now have another option to do it via this channel and via even, uh, go check them out. But music money makers, if you make music, you should always make money. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com, jump into the 60 day record label course, 
Uh, grab the free stuff beneath this video, book a call there, smash the like button beneath this video, and guess what? I'll see you next time. Peace.